happy Monday, scholars, and welcome to week 22 of learning. We are in the last day of January. Can you believe it? Tomorrow is February. All right, let's get started and talk about this week. Remember, we have that early release this Tuesday. Make sure you have your ride arranged so that you can get off campus promptly. And we're so excited this Thursday the third. Um, we're kicking off our community connection. So let's talk about that a little bit, shall we? All right. So community connections expectations. These are the same as they were last semester, but I thought it would be smart for us to review just to make sure that we are all on the same page. The big thing is to plan ahead, guys. Make sure that your family knows that you're staying after school on Thursdays so that they can pick you up at 345 instead. Once you leave that building, you cannot come back inside. So make sure that you're planning ahead and finding that room that you are choosing. Make sure you're in that room by 305. Scholars who arrive late will be turned away. And once you choose your room, make sure that you're staying there until 3.45 p.m. Scholars found wandering the hallways will be escorted out and not allowed to stay going forward on Thursdays. And just as another reminder, all classroom expectations still apply um, after school, including proper behaviors and proper mask wearing. So let's look at all of these options. I'm not going to read them off to you. So if teachers, you want to pause the video, um, I'll have three slide, four slides um, so that they can take a look at the offerings. Here is sixth grade. Here is seventh grade. Here is eighth grade. I will also send that to you guys via Schoology so that you guys have access to that. Um, I'm going to post it on our website as well. All right, guys, and I'm going to finally finish us off with a few more expectations reminders. Our cafeteria is so amazing. Um, I go to other schools that have the original cafeterias, and we are just so lucky to have such flex seating, such bright and um, fun places for you to sit and talk with your friends. But with that cafeteria comes some expectations. So as you arrive, whether it's in the morning or at lunch, you're finding your seat and you're staying in that seat. Um, I know a lot of you guys like to jump around and talk to your friends, but we need to make sure that we're safe and that we are choosing one seat to stay in through the duration of that time. If you are not actively eating, that mass needs to be up and we always need to be at a voice level one. It's a big room, a lot of echoing, and if anyone is up above that level one, it just becomes too much. Um, especially on these inside days, guys, I know that this weather has been hard and we want to try to get you outside as much as possible because that is the safest place. Um, but on days that we eat inside, make sure that we are being responsible. We are raising our hand when we're ready to be dismissed. We're keeping our area clean so that we can keep this uh, cafeteria nice and bright for years to come. And finally, cell phones, guys, as a reminder, when you're at school, your job is to be a student, period. Um, allow yourself time to separate from your phone and your AirPods to make sure that you're concentrating on your learning. This is practice for your future. You guys have such bright futures ahead of you. You want to make sure that you're practicing this discipline to make sure that you are taking advantage of every single minute of learning. Please come talk to me if you need additional support to disconnect yourself from this personal device. I've set up several one-off situations with scholars who just need that support, and that is okay. Make sure that you're keeping them in your lockers or they will be valeted. All right, guys, that's it for me. I hope you guys have a great Monday, a great week of learning. Be good people. Do good things. Peace.